Hello YouTube. In this video I will show you guys um, what's inside some kind of server equipment. I'm not so sure what it is, but I think it's relating to power um, and hard drives and various things. So, here, there's this piece here which is where you would plug in all of your SCSI drives for your server. And you flip it over. And in this place here, there's some gold plating. And here, there's also some gold plating. Nice high grade gold. And also another one in there. And each of these um, ports here all contain gold plating for the SCSI connectors. That each of these yellow uh, rectangles. All these are tantalum capacitors. Those contain tantalum and those can be sold for quite a bit of money. And then a lot of this stuff is like press fit. So it's really easy to remove by hand. A lot of it doesn't require soldering work. And also there are these LEDs. Each of these little squares are all LEDs. There's two per drive roughly. Then there's a center one for status lights and various things. Basically, all of these are all um, gold plated LEDs with a gold bonding wire inside. All those contain gold as well. And then various uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors, those brown rectangles. There's also some tiny ones as well. Flipping it over here, you can tell that there's no soldering in there. Actually, there's soldering, that is. So, you will have to desolder those, however, these pieces do not have solder, it's just press fit, which is very nice. So that's one piece, that's like the main connector, and then there were two power supply modules, with the typical server. There's one there, and there's another both identical. Each one has gold plating on the ends. There's a whole bunch of connector boards and various things. That there has a removable um, chip. And of course there's your typical power supply materials like aluminum heat sinks, inductors, and transformers. So yeah, there's basically two of those. Just put that to the side. And these here, these connectors plug in to the back of this main board in both of these suspected areas. Now for these areas here, these are your um, SCSI, uh, I guess, controllers. You got three here. There's two identical ones. Each one of these um, have quite a few chips on them. Of course, there's our connector. And of course, our connector there. Um, all these pop right out. And so, as you can tell, there's quite a few chips. All these little black rectangles are all chips. This BGA chip here has some gold wiring inside and some nice gold plating. Hundreds of uh, wires. There, right there, that one that's labeled X1, which is right there. That's a uh, oscillator, which contains some gold. And other than that, that's pretty much it for these um, connectors. There's nothing on the back except a whole bunch of um, capacitors. And those all plug into the main board. And then here's another chip. There's another board here. Once again, the same kind of connector. As you can tell when I tilt it, you can see the nice gold plating. And as you can tell, there's a lot of these tiny little chips. All those contain gold as well. And of course, you got your your capacitors. And then on the other side here, a uh, indicator light, which should have some gold plating in there. And then a switch, a toggle switch, which should contain some silver. Then on the back, we got nothing. And once again, it's these press fit connectors, there's no soldering whatsoever. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all that's inside that piece, except for one more thing. On top of each of these power supplies, there were some fans that would provide cooling. Pretty heavy duty stuff. Each of these contains a nice little circuit board and of course a copper burning motor. You can see that in there. And there's four of them, so there's two per piece. There you go, there's four fans. And then each of these connectors plug into one main board here. This main board has almost nothing except a capacitor, another type of tantalum capacitor. It has a black casing, and of course our regular IC chip that most likely controls something running to the fans. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's inside one of those. And so yeah, hope you found that video interesting and useful. Please like, comment, subscribe for more content in the future from the e Man. And I'll see you guys later.